It's been a year since I made my video comparing Kick to Twitch, and one of my most frequently asked questions I got on that video was what about streaming on YouTube? The biggest problem with both Twitch and Kick is the fact that neither of them have an algorithm, so theoretically YouTube should be the perfect answer, right? In this video, I'm going to be going over the full comparison of Twitch versus YouTube Live, and by the end of this video, you will be able to answer the question, should you stream on YouTube? I've done marketing for a living for over 10 years now, and I work with over 100 streamers directly. I have multiple other videos here on my channel related to growing on Twitch, Kick, and other streaming related videos. If you are interested in that type of content, Content, hitting subscribe will help me out a lot as well as if you learn anything hitting the like button helps my algorithm more than you realize so I appreciate it greatly. Let's start by going over the pros of streaming on YouTube compared to Twitch. The biggest complaint that I see about Twitch is the revenue split. On Twitch you only get to keep 50% of your revenue that you get from subscribers and bits. Let's say you earn 100 subscribers a month on Twitch that's a total of $500 a month but after Twitch takes their 50% you are left with $250. YouTube on the other hand gives streamers 70% of the revenue that they earn from super chat donations as well as super stickers. YouTube does have a paid subscriber option Option, but even for popular live streamers, this is very uncommon. Most of the revenue made on YouTube Live will come from Super Chat. Another pro to streaming on YouTube is the fact that there are less streamers on the platform. No matter what game you are streaming, there will be far less competition than on Twitch or even on Kick. This isn't all positive though, and I'll explain more when discussing the cons of YouTube. The last pro about streaming on YouTube is not the algorithm like you would expect. That's actually a con, and I'm going to be explaining more in a second. However, the last pro is having an easier time getting people on the platform to watch you. Everyone has YouTube, and in the early stages of streaming, you need as many people as possible helping you out by showing up to your streams. YouTube is the most common streaming app on your phone, and you'll have way more friends slash family members able and willing to come and support you during your stream. Now let's talk about the cons, and I'm going to start with the algorithm because there's a common misconception that the YouTube algorithm is the reason it's better to stream on the platform. The YouTube algorithm works based on user preferences, and very few YouTubers watch streamers, especially streamers with low viewers. That means even if you try to take advantage of the SEO via tags and titles, it's rare that you will ever come up on someone's YouTube, even with people searching because live streams do not have the same search value as full videos, or even shorts. The other argument that I hear for YouTube is I could just upload shorts or other high search value content on my channel to reach new people for my streams. If you are using your channel to live stream, you'll notice that your views are much lower than they should be. If you have a separate channel for shorts, they will perform much, much better, and you could still funnel this traffic to your channel that you host your live streams on. The YouTube algorithm can be very rewarding in terms of views and exposure, however, if you try to stream from a successful channel, it'll kill the channel's reach. Instead, use the YouTube algorithm to reach people and then funnel them into your streams on a separate live streaming channel on YouTube or even your streams on another platform such as Twitch or Kick. Another con with YouTube is the fact that on average you will receive much less support financially. Even major streamers will see far less donations with YouTube and that's mainly because the Twitch community is very supportive in terms of subscribing and donating. From my expertise and what I've seen from all of my clients of all sizes, streamers on average will receive much more donations and paid subscribers on Twitch versus YouTube. One big reason is because of people hate ads on Twitch and people will subscribe and gift subscribers to help people not have to deal with ads. Another big reason is because gifting subscribers on Twitch is such a common practice and a way of giving support to streamers by giving back to the community. From my investigation and studying what YouTube streamers make, on average, a YouTube streamer will have to average over 200 viewers to make anything close what a Twitch streamer will make if they average only 50 viewers. And that's even after Twitch takes their 50%. Now this con can easily be combated by offering more incentives for people to use Super Chat. Since YouTube lets you keep 70% of the revenue from Super Chat, you need to think of creative ways to incentivize people to use Super Chat and support you. If you create a good enough reason for people to want to support you, they will do so no matter what platform you are on. If you are strictly looking for the highest percentage, Kick offers streamers 95% of the revenue you will earn. However, it has its downsides, and I just uploaded the updated video on comparing Kick to Twitch for 2024. In conclusion, I do not think that you should stream on YouTube because of the strong community that Twitch has around live streaming and supporting them financially. I understand more than anyone that Twitch has a lot of flaws and, and they stand for a lot of the wrong stuff. But as a businessman making a video suggesting the best place for you to host your streams, I would say that Twitch is still the best place for you at this time. This is only really for those that don't have an audience already. If you already have an audience that you could take to any platform, I'd say streaming on Kick is the best just because of the high revenue split. In my opinion, YouTube is the best platform when it comes to hosting videos and getting exposure on video projects. I'm excited to execute multiple channel ideas that I have and really take over the space in YouTube in the future. This channel is the first of many and I want the goal of this channel to be furthering the knowledge of those who are watching. Eventually, I will launch my entertainment channel, but subscribe for the journey. And if you're looking to grow on Twitch or really any platform in under five minutes, watch this video here.